Yo, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video. So this week was considered pretty boring in the crypto industry market. We've been seeing a lot of sideways action, which was to be predicted from the last few videos that I've at least posted on this channel. And in this video, I want to talk more about what to expect moving forward in the next few weeks in the crypto market, what you should be doing as a new retail investors. And I also wanted to talk about some more potential opportunities where you could possibly make that bag or that bread right there. So guys, although there hasn't been much action. There's still a lot of moves that you can make in order to make more money in this market today. And I know today is a little bit of a later upload. Right now it's close to midnight. I did take a little nappy nap and that's because your boy got his second dose today. Uh, I didn't think it would affect me because, you know, I, I go to the gym. I'm relatively healthy. I'm very cautious about even the foods that I consume on a day-to-day -day basis. But man, a few hours ago, that joint knocked me out. And uh, I just woke up and I didn't want to miss an upload. I had something out today, but we ran into a lot of audio issues. So I had to unlist that video on YouTube. I think I broke a few people's eardrums by mistake as well too. So if that happened, I really apologize for that. And hopefully the audio is sounding a lot better today. Now guys, there has been, you know, a lot of news, a lot of developments still made in the overall crypto market that we need to talk about on top of all the further manipulation and, and trying to get a better idea of what at least the whales may be preparing to do in the next week or so. So, first of all, if you have not dropped a like on this video, make sure you guys go ahead and do that. That really does help out this channel because I feel like the market sentiment, when it goes down, you know, the views on these videos kind of go down. And your boy, Brian, I was liking the I was liking the 300K views. That was feeling good. So, if you guys want to start pumping things up and, and help your boy get back on the algorithm, definitely drop a like down below. Much appreciated. And check out Surfshark down below. 83% off, three months free. And also Weeble. Two free stocks, one buy it up to $1,850 after you deposit $100 into the app. Boom. All right, guys. With all that being said, let's hop into the computer and see what's going on in the market. All right, real, real quick, guys. AMC up $26.51 in the last week. They've been up 110%. Here's what I'm doing with AMC. Here's what I recommend you guys to do right now. So if you do have some money to unload, if you're trying to not get a little bit of that FOMO, I oftentimes will never recommend people to onboard a train, you know, in this stage. But my price target for AMC with regards to a short squeeze that is potentially going to happen, especially when we look at GME and the price action that we saw before its last squeeze as well, well, this sets up a lot of people for a potential ride to the moon, which is anywhere from 8,000%, 10,000% increase. On the low, even a 1,000% increase would be nice. So check this out. GME, before they actually had their little short squeeze, which I believe was not the full effect because we had multiple versions of this throughout the last few months when we were really a part of this whole Wall Street bets movement uh, prior to the crypto market really starting to lift off. Check this out. AMC trading at $16, $19. Maybe where AMC is kind of at right now, 19 uh, 18 and then all of a sudden $30, $39, $43, and slowly day by day, 60, 70, 147, slowly. And then all of a sudden one day, they went up 7,500% in that one year as that all-time high. So imagine the fathom of that. Imagine how crazy it is. And then also take a look at the data of how many short positions are still with AMC. And we realize that the volume right now is stupid crazy too. So the volume of these trades have been absolutely insane for the past few days. And if we were able to break the all-time high in terms of volume that we had last time, which was in the billions, according to some data that I found online, then we're going to have a really strong opportunity. And this time, I doubt that we're going to have Robinhood and some of these other brokerage turn off the trades, which happened last time. So right now I am up 250% on my investment in the past week. Uh, in the last day, I've been up $18,000 and my total investment with AMC is currently at $70,000. So I don't have an actual price target to exit this strategy yet. I'm just keeping my eyes glued on this while the crypto market is still just dancing around in circles, putting a little bit more time on the TA on this. But still, even in terms of regular technical analysis, there's not much that you can predict with this. And we're just hoping that the social sense sentiment continues to grow, more people decide to invest. So on the general premise for the safety of my viewers, I would never advise you guys to invest on, on something like this uh, just because the downside and the risk is still there. But we're still on this in terms of a fundamental value of over leveraged short traders that are getting bought out and they're going to have to re-enter these positions. The price is going to go up and logically this still makes sense and logically the data is all still there in order to point us to the upside. So I'm really optimistic about 
about AMC still, but the last time I said that, you know, we did see it go down after Robinhood did decided to say, oh, nah, people, people aren't going to make their money today. So here's what we got going on, you guys. In terms of this trade, I think $26 is a good entry point, but I wouldn't be surprised tomorrow morning on Friday if AMC starts to heat up. Keep in mind, we also have a very long weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday too, where a lot of people are going to be taking some time off, but people are also going to be telling their family members, their friends, their coworkers over Memorial Day weekend that Tuesday we might actually have liftoff. So if we have like crazy liftoff, imagine AMC going $100 by then, that would be absolutely extraordinary. And I know today, even on Twitter, and even yesterday, AMC has been trending as well with hashtag AMC strong. So I'm still part of the community only because I have not sold my investment. And I initially entered this at such a good average cost before putting my more money uh, more money in, uh, which raised this significantly. But guys, uh, <laughs> I don't want to say this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, but this is definitely something that I would consider you to at least put a small position where it's not going to ruin your life so you don't get FOMO'd in later on. Uh, please do not dump your life savings into this investment. Please don't think this is going to be a guarantee to the upside because the hedges and all the institutions, they're going to do everything they can in order to reduce this and make sure that it doesn't happen. So keep that in mind, you guys. Definitely had to discuss AMC on this channel because I'm super passionate about it. And for anyone who's in the crypto crypto scene who doesn't really know what's going on with AMC. You just have to do a little bit of digging. I made some videos back in the day, back in February when this was lifting off on why this is happening. So this is all about short positions. Pretty much the easiest way to explain this is say little Billy, say little Jimmy. We'll do Billy. All right. Little Billy right here is trying to get a PS5, right? He knows the price of a PS5 is, is selling like crazy amounts on the aftermarket price. PS5 or Sony, is right now selling it for retail $250, but you could sell it on eBay as an example for $500. What Jimmy or Billy is going to do is he's going to go out and try to borrow the PS5 for that $250. He's then going to flip it or sell it. What he does is cash in that profit of the $250 he's made, and then he's going to buy it back later. Okay, at a date when the price actually fluctuates, goes back down and realize the aftermarket prices isn't that crazy and you can continue to go back to normal prices. So you can do this in essence with other stocks. You can also do this with leverage trading with uh, cryptocurrencies as well. You can also short positions there. It's a little bit more of an intermediate uh, type of trading. And the reason why I don't talk about it too much on my channel is because there's a lot of risk where if the price continues to go up, like we're seeing right now with over leveraged short positions, then people are going to have have to pay a lot of money. It's it's infinite uh, in terms of the loss that you can have, unlike uh, just investing into stocks where if it goes to zero, it goes to zero, but you're never going to lose an infinite amount of money. So that's what we have with the AMC side. Super excited to see what happens Friday. Very, very excited right now. And hopefully we do see this thing go to the moon. So today's crypto market cap is up 1.16%. It was in the red a little bit. It was in the green a little bit. But right now, they're still under that $1.7 trillion market cap. If we go ahead and take a look at that volume right now, here's what we'll notice. The volume is down 19% only because many people are still sitting on the sidelines trying to figure out exactly what the best move to make. It looks like based on all the TAs, which no one has an idea of what can happen based on past, uh, past occurrences, every Everyone's just waiting right now on the sideline. You have to realize this is not just a couple thousand people investing into crypto. This is hundreds of thousands of millions of people trying to see what may happen with this. So with the overall market sentiment still being fearful, with today being a little bit more scary than it was yesterday, right now people are just trying to gauge what the whales are going to do, what the manipulation and price is going to do. And I took a deeper look into that Wyckoff theory, and right now it looks like things are lining up with that. So... Here's what you have to know in terms of the Wyckoff theory. We can go into two directions right now. It can be an accumulation or redistribution of uh, the entire market. And pretty much the latter of that redistribution is where things could go south. Things could go bad. And people are waiting right now in terms of seeing it as a buying opportunity. Or if we go into the upside, then, you know, you're going to be able to liquidate your positions, realize those gains, and still make a decent profit. Now, I do have to mention a few things before we talk about some other crypto prices and some movements that we're seeing with all-time gainers. If you are a newer investor right now and you're not sure what to do, 
The reason why many people are deciding not to invest during this time is because there are going to be more opportunities. And from all the research that I've done, it looks like we're going to see another pullback to where we could see a good buying opportunity because the whole point of the Wyckoff theory is that the manipulators, the whales, the institutions are trying to shake out as many uh, retail investors as possible. And there are different phases of this. So we're just getting through, I would say, like the first third of the phase that we're having right now. And once they're able to shake out even more retail investors and they load up where diamond handers, the strong handers end up holding these positions, those are generally going to be the big winners. Now, in addition to that, I also have to say this. If you are super over leveraged with your crypto portfolio, meaning you don't have enough money to pay next month's rent because it's all invested, you're not exactly sure what to do. That is not what you should be doing. And that is something I would never advise for my audience to be doing at all. If you are in that situation, I would consider taking profits off the table right now only because Bitcoin is still at that stable phase. Maybe when it gets closer to $40,000, because over the course of the uh, past few days, we've seen Bitcoin touch $40,000. Grand, but it seems like it can't break through and just completely clear that level of resistance. So, right now, if you are in that situation, always make sure that you have money sitting on the sideline and all the money that you're investing during the time uh, into crypto is something that you don't care about for the next one to two years. This is a long term investment. And if you're able to make these high volatility short term gains, that's still going to be a win. But I do have to emphasize right here on this channel, we are still going through very enormous times of evolution, right? A uh, uh, technology of, of adaptation. And the crypto market is still in its such infant stages where volatility like this is completely normal. We have to be able to stomach this. And if you can't, if you paper hand and, and you sell your investments anytime the market goes down in the red, this might not be it for you. And I want to make sure that all of you guys are mentally prepared for what may happen. Now, am I saying that we're going to have a crash? Heck to the no. I think we are going to have a little bit more sideways action. I think we're going to have a little bit more pullbacks and I consider those still a buying opportunity or a fire sale in the market. But I also need to mention that for all of my newer investors who are just getting into crypto right now, we are going to have those downs as we are going to have those ups. But we, if we look at that one-year trend, if we look at how much we progressed, even with cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin right now, we are still right on track. We are still doing very well. And with this type of pullback, it is going to be very difficult to determine whether or not this is going to be that start to the crypto winter or if this is going to be the bear market because you can just never tell. You can never predict while we're in it. But based on what we're seeing in the past few weeks, it's just been more good news in terms of fundamentals in terms of the consensus uh, meeting that they had that we'll talk about later on in this video and just the overall sentiment even though it's fearful and even though most retail investors are just chilling right now because they're not sure exactly what to do after the drop that we've had i'm gonna say that projects are continuing to move forward we're seeing more adaptation we're seeing more people hear about other cryptocurrencies and i just don't see this slowing down anytime in the future will we have pullbacks will we have a reset will this be the end of quote unquote a super cycle that is all up to debate right now and i think most people are trying to say you know the bears are going to tell us this the bears are going to be uh, pushing that it is and then realistically the bears get louder when the market gets even worse. Alrighty, so aside from that, Ethereum, not much action today either. They're still at $2,700 and we want to see Ethereum break $3,000. We want Bitcoin to destroy $42,000. If we get past $40,000 too, that'll be a good sign. But anything under $38,000, that is definitely not a good sign for the market. So I'm definitely going to keep an eye out on that. Uh, I came out with a report that I found recently and published it to my inner circle members about Tether. At the moment, if you guys do plan on parking your money into USD stable coins. I, I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend Tether right now. Definitely check out most of the other stable coins listed on the market. And although Tether is ranked up number three, I would just be careful uh, with this cryptocurrency during this time. Check out USD coin and check out some other alternatives that do have backing with financial institutions. And USD coin is one that I would personally use instead. Binance coin is up 4.28% and they are still down a significant amount from their last all-time high, which is over $600 before uh, this entire crypto market began to take that tumble. And even right now with Binance Coin and other cryptocurrencies, we're still seeing a 
solid buying opportunity. But the ones that really interest me the most are the ones that have been able to bounce back up the quickest during this whole entire crypto flash crash that we've been experiencing for the past week. So check this out, even with Cardano. When Cardano hit that all-time high of close to even $2.50 and they dropped back down pretty low all the way down to $1.50 and even lower than that, we saw them bounce up pretty fairly quickly in comparison to other cryptocurrencies on the market now. So even in the three-month trend, we are sitting at $1.72, $1.60. And with Cardano and other cryptocurrencies that have been on my watch list that I've talked about many times on this channel, you know that if you did take a dip in this market alongside Bitcoin, you're going to be not necessarily, you know, crying and, and in a terrible position. But even with these cryptocurrencies, if you're diversified enough, your portfolio wouldn't have tanked as hard. So a 50% pullback, depending on the time you enter this market, definitely hurts. But for any of my investors who have been in this before the past few months and you have been long-term hodlers, I mean, you know that this is all part of the game. But, you know, with the newer investors that have been a part of this, I know it can be quite scary out here. So make sure that you stay tuned, okay? Because we got a lot of important news to cover. And although this may seem like, you know, it's a fearful market and there's a lot of bad stuff going on, this is exactly what the institutions want you to feel. And I just still see this as another Another good buying opportunity for us to get into some of these coins because fundamentally nothing has changed at all and right now these projects are still moving forward they still doing their thing so the other cryptocurrencies on this list dogecoin is near 33 cents right now xrp under a dollar again a polka dot 24 dollars during the time of this recording they're up eight percent which is not bad movement at all so uniswap another platform cryptocurrency they're up 7.55 percent Bitcoin Cash up 3.83%, Litecoin up 4.23%, Polygon trading a little sideways today, but actually still in the green for the week. Stellar or XLM is up 0.38%, so not too much of an increase today, and they are still down 15% for the week. And Solana as well, they are up 6%, but they are down 27%. For the week. So Theta, they're up doing fairly well. Theta is actually probably one of the biggest winners today, up 19%, which we've talked about before on this channel as well. But VeChain still struggling a bit right now. Let's take a look at the trending data. So VeChain has been trading a little sideways as well. It looks like they are consolidating over from the last support level of anywhere close to 0.7 cents right here. So VeChain is another cryptocurrency that I personally love and we came down from its all-time high as well. Alrighty guys, so here are our big winners for the last 24 hour period. Helium up 32% while Bakery Token is up 27%. Thorchain is up 20%. Theta is up 19% and Theta Fuel is up 16%. So the largest market cap among these five winners for the last day is going to be Theta alongside Baker Token, which is the opposite and actually the lowest market cap out of all of this just under a billion dollars so there are still a lot of opportunities to be made and although bitcoin is trading sideways it doesn't mean some of these altcoins are going to be either yes bitcoin does have a strong pull when it makes drastic volatile movements but whenever we see bitcoin doing its bitcoin thing just chilling around not being able to break resistance nor support we do see other altcoins starting to pick up and starting to recover so helium as an example they're up 30 percent in the past week or 32 percent in the last day if we take a look at the charts right here They've been consolidating. They had their pullback, but they've been having a very beautiful recovery since that time period. So they're at $14.97, currently at $18.76. So check this out, guys. Back in March, $4.26, and we're still up. $18.91. So a lot of these cryptocurrencies are still going to be moving and hopefully we get to see some more action later on this weekend. And I'm really, really excited to see what may happen Sunday because it's either going to be a parabolic movement north or we're going to see a very, very good buying opportunity as well, where I know I'm going to be entering some positions that have been on my watch list as well. So for any of my inner circle members, make sure you guys stay tuned for that as well. All right, guys, so I'm going to wrap up the video right there, but there have been a lot of great improvements made. Tom Brady, coming out talking about the consensus 2021 meeting where he's all about Bitcoin. He sees the future in it. We've seen Kevin O'Leary, Mark Cuban, some of the top influencers in the finance and entrepreneur space also discussing this. And then we also had a lot of different regulators also talking about their opinion, how they feel about cryptocurrency and where the future of this may lie. So a lot of great news in the market right now, regardless of Bitcoin trading sideways and being in that wait and see type phase. Now guys, thank you all so much again for watching this video. If you 
did enjoy this, don't forget to comment the code word down below. Let's do 5G. Comment down below 5G. And uh, I appreciate you watching this. I appreciate y'all for tuning by. We're going to be doing another Inner Circle launch on June 2nd. And I'll be posting on my Twitter and Instagram when the specific time for that will be because it does sell out fairly quick. On top of that, don't forget to check out the links down below in the description. BlockFi, you can get up to $250 using my link down below. Weeble, Surfshark. Hopefully, y'all have it by now in order to better your own financial life. So check them out, you guys. They are the best possible offers for you to sign up with. And they also do support this channel as well. All right, guys, have a good night. Thank you again so much for watching. And until next time, peace out.